Hi. So in this video, I'll cover Archie IPR review. Um, I'll cover three things uh, primarily. One is a quick demo of this feature. Uh, second, why um, this feature is helpful. And third, we'll cover five tips that can help you take best advantage of this feature. Uh, so, so let's start with the demo. So what you have to do is go to RTI website on the PR review page uh, here. Uh, I'll just move this icon here and then click. Uh, and the first thing you do uh, have to go is to go to configure GitHub here. Uh, once you go to configure GitHub, you have, have to select the repositories that uh, you want uh, RTI to review. I have already selected the three repositories that I want to review. So once you do that, uh, you will see uh, these configurations. Uh, I'll pick this, for example, and you can pick and choose and we'll cover this part later that what needs to be reviewed. But one thing uh, major is that for every PR review open, I want it to be reviewed and that is this, uh, this option. So once I do all that, I can go uh, to uh, the PR review and uh, uh, create a PR. Uh, so what I will do is go here and create a new pull request. Uh, let me do this for example and create a pull request. Now uh, this takes a couple of moments. First uh, you'll see some icon that uh, RGI has started looking into this and uh, then will take a moment to uh, evaluate. Now I just did a couple of minutes back this review. So where uh, this is the format in which PR review comes. We give you a logical error analysis, uh, what bugs we, potential bugs we see whether they are test written on some critical elements and security point of view if there are any security vulnerabilities. There is also labels which are added uh, that can help you organize the PRs. And then uh, there are code suggestions uh, that what, how can you improve the code. And all of these are just directly committable like you just uh, put here and make a commit and then you can uh, in your VS code and other under see that uh, it does meet the requirement or not. Um, so for example, this we just generated, uh, it analyzed it uh, and came up with uh, some of the suggestions. Uh, for example, there is one that um, there is no, uh, does not handle the case where SQL query might be valid. So some edge cases, potential issues, it could uh, figure out for you. So this is the quick demo of RGAI. Now, uh, why should you be using RGAI uh, in your organization? So we'll cover that here uh, quickly. So uh, on the customer side, there are two parts to this problem. When we speak to the PR author, the challenge is that often um, if they don't write good summaries, there is a lot of back and forth because the PR reviewers don't understand uh, the context. They will ask questions, highlight trivial issues. When you close and you get back and then there is back and forth, it can take multiple days and weeks to close the PR. And the second challenge is also that even for smaller PRs where there is 90% of boilerplate, which is highlighted here, you still have to write those reviews. Uh, so uh, it could be helpful if you get a summary already and you can just tweak it to highlight the things that you want the reviewers to focus on. On the PR reviewer side, who are generally senior engineer, the challenge is that a lot of their time goes into uh, just uh, solving trivial stylistic issues and bugs, which can be taken care of uh, in the pre-review. And rather they could focus their time on higher order task, which uh, does not get, uh, they get chance to because uh, they have to identify these small trivial repetitive issues. Now, as a engineering manager, uh, your challenge is that both of your participants, a reviewer and author are not happy. They don't get to spend time on things they enjoy, which is the learning aspect of the PR review. And also the PR sits for a long time. So this is where the code uh, review uh, tools come in. Now there are static code analysis which have existed for a long time, but the challenge is there are a lot of false positive. Uh, so you don't know what to, uh, there's a lot of noise here. So you don't know what are the high signal that you should pay attention to. The second thing is that they are not prescriptive. They don't provide the, uh, like what should be the solution to what they are highlighting. And the third thing I would say, which is not here, is that these are targeted at SecOps persona and are complicated for developers and at least in the early uh, small teams to adopt these solutions. So that's an additional barrier. Now, when it comes to code uh, AI based solution, the challenge is they are still very early in the cycle and a lot of them are still in the demo stage. They are not feature rich. The quality of reviews are not that high. Uh, at times they create also a lot of noise. Uh, so even for a small PR that you create, you will see a lot of over contribution, uh, which could be avoided. Uh, there is little analytics, 
uh, and you still need to use static code analysis tool for security vulnerabilities which is gpts are not good at now rci approach here is to deliver a full complete solution that meets the need uh, so we want to give you a real high quality solution um, we want to give you a rich analytics and cover static code analysis as well so there are three things that we want to focus on uh, i already showed you the uh, reviews which focus on logical errors and other and give you high quality reviews the commits uh, the code suggestion that we provide are really actionable can be committed to pr and in the cases we don't need to contribute we just give you lgtm so that there is not noise on the prs so these are, are the reasons why some of our customer really like it uh, the product uh, so one of the feedback we heard was rci gives them the peace of mind that there is someone else who is reviewing the pr uh, there is one CTO of fintech firm that we are working with who highlighted an interesting aspect that he wants his team to be focused on uh, when reviewing the code on higher order stuff like whether uh, in the long term it meets the need of customer, whether the code is maintainable uh, versus like reviewers time getting focused on small uh, repetitive issues. And that's what our AI can help avoid and uh, sort of get give some time back to reviewer. And that's where RGI is finding helpful. So uh, if uh, you want in your team to uh, improve the quality of reviews, uh, reduce the idle time, uh, these are the three things that I would suggest. Uh, install the RGI application, configure the review setting and uh, just get started. Uh, we already gave you a quick demo on how to do that. Now beyond uh, these uh, need, I also wanted to highlight five uh, tips that can help you take advantage of RGI. First is the setup side. Uh, so on the setup when we're doing there are a lot of uh, uh, options here so make sure that you pick the right one for example enabling this ask or code suggestion could be helpful because your team can take advantage of it uh, you can also enable perform complete review and incremental review so complete review is when uh, after you create the PR there will be more commits so what complete review does is it does the complete review from uh, before even the we last reviewed, like taking all the commits into account, while the incremental review, what it does is, uh, let's say we reviewed two days back and there has been four commits, it will focus on the newer four commits uh, while still taking the whole change into account. So depending on what would be useful, you could enable that. There are also some settings like you may want to ignore the bot generated PRs. This is again to reduce the noise in the PR review. Uh, so for example you might be using bots to uh, manage release process or to do static code analysis you might want to ignore there and then uh, you could uh, ignore certain kind of uh, prs for example if draft uh, is written in front so uh, if you have these conventions in your organizations uh, you can add those so that's the tip number one in the setup the tip number two i'll say is uh, you can bring your own uh, organization coding best practices here for example if there are rules that you want um, RGI to flag whenever there are new libraries being used you can write that if you want our uh, devs to not devs to not use print statement rather log statement you could put that as a rule if you want RGI to focus on performance so that could be an additional rule so this could be the place where you, you bring the code best practices for us to keep in mind when doing the review so these are the uh, two tips on the setup side on uh, the usage side, I'll say there is one pretty helpful command that you could use, which is help. Uh, so once you type help on a PR, uh, it takes a couple of moments to get, return the command, but you get uh, what and all functionalities are available. For example, you could do ask and uh, do a question that RGI will try to answer. Now, what could be the use of this? So for example, in this PR, you want to write additional test or you want to rewrite certain portion to make it more concise. So you can ask questions about it and uh, redo those part. You can also ask for describe PR, which gives you a walkthrough of entire PR file by file. So that's my tip number uh, third for you. Uh, tip number fourth that I have is a lot of times you want to measure that how your organization is improving, what are the productivity metrics. So RCI provides you a rich analytics dashboard here. So for example, here you could see that in the last week, 12 PRs were opened. 11s were merged, one is still remaining. Uh, the average merge time is six minutes, which is pretty fast. 
and these are the main contributors. So this you can track week over week and see that how you are making progress, which are the bottlenecks. And we'll keep adding more features here so that you can deeper uh, dive deeper into the PRs uh, and uh, take uh, concrete actions. The tip number five, uh, which is a bit adjacent, is that uh, for any PR, you might want to understand the adjacencies, like what is the overall impact, in what context uh, this PR is coming. So one feature you could use is just go to RGI chat feature and understand and ask questions about the PR here, like what, um, how is this functionality implemented today? Uh, that can help you review the PR better. You could also, for example, see uh, the summary that uh, if you want to get a uh, sort of high level overview about the code base or understand if you're new to the code base. So these can be pretty helpful uh, tool for you to uh, get additional help on the PR. So these are my five tips for you. So just to recap, uh, what we covered was a quick demo, how you can set up ArchAI. Second, why AI based PR review solution is helpful, especially ArchAI. And third is that how you can take uh, advantage uh, of ArchAI. So five tips uh, that will be helpful for you. If you have any feedback, comments, uh, let me know, uh, happy to answer them.